Normal gradient across aortic wall can be measured by pulse Doppler echocardiography as the gradients are low. In the presence of aortic stenosis, the gradients are high and needs continuous wave Doppler or high pulse repetition pulse Doppler to measure trans aortic gradient as the velocities are above the Nyquist limit of conventional pulse Doppler echo. Nyquist limit will be half the pulse repetition frequency. Hence, it will be low for conventional pulse Doppler with low pulse repetition frequency and high for high pulse repetition pulse Doppler. Theoretically, it is infinite for continuous wave Doppler. In this image, measurement of aortic peak gradient and mean gradient are illustrated. The early diastolic E and late diastolic A waves of mitral inflow are also demonstrated. Peak aortic gradient and mean aortic gradient are mildly elevated in this case. Such mild elevation of trans aortic gradients may be noted in hyperdynamic states like severe aortic regurgitation. But here there is no aortic regurgitation seen on Doppler echo. Similar gradients may also be seen across normally functioning prosthetic aortic walls. This is because any prosthetic wall in aortic location can intrinsically narrow the left ventricular outflow tract mildly depending on the profile of the valve.